David with Ligori Drag Racing. And in today's video, I'm gonna go over gear shift output, how to wire the gear shift solenoid and upshift button input. So I have a drawing here. I actually have two drawings that I'm gonna go over because there's two different ways that you can wire it or the way that I suggest to wire it. You can wire it a couple different ways, but I suggest to wire it this way. So you're going to have your shift solenoid. You're going to have your fuel tech ECU shift button and switch 12 volt power source here. So I'm going to go over a couple things. Your shift solenoid typically has two black wires out of it and you can splice the wires. You can put a connector on the wires. You can, put a dang wire nut on it, as long as it's got a good connection, then it should work fine. I suggest a connector. And you have your fuel tech ECU. You have a blue output wire and a white input wire. Shift button, white input, ground, switch 12 volt power source. Your switch 12 volt power source is when you turn the bike on, you have switch 12 volts. Switch 12 volts is whenever you flip your toggle switch on to activate, turn on the ECU and any other components on the bike, such as uh, fuel injectors, coils, things like that, you have switch 12 volts available to you. So you just have to tap that uh, wire off of somewhere and take that to your shift solenoid. It does not matter which black wire you use. The shift solenoid is not polarity sensitive. You can use either wire for switch to a volt and either wire for your blue output. So once you get switch 12 volt power source connected to your shift solenoid, you then have to wire the fuel tech to it and the fuel tech I want you to take a blue output wire. The blue output will be your ground. And that will activate the other black wire. And it again, it does not matter which one you use. So connect your blue output directly to your shift solenoid. No relay in between it. You do not need a relay. And you want to take a white input, if you're using a shift button, you want to take a white input and take it to your shift button, directly to your shift button. On the other wire on your shift button, connect it to a ground. You can connect it to a 12 volt if that's easier, but I suggest a ground. Your blue output in the ECU needs to be labeled gear shift output and your white input must be labeled up shift button. You have your inputs here and up shift button. It does not matter which white input you use. You could use any of the 14 available on a 550. You can use any of the 20 available on a 600 and any of the seven available on a 450. It does not matter which one you use as long as it's labeled correctly. In your outputs, you wanna label it gear shift output. Again, same thing with a white input. You can put gear shift output on any blue wire. It does not matter. You have six on a 450, you have 12 on a 550, and you have 16 on a 600. It does not matter which one you use, as long as it's labeled correctly. Now I'm going to show you how to wire it the other way. And I think this way is a little simpler, but you cannot do it on a 450 because the 450 does not have any yellow wires for activating things in 12 volts. So you need a FuelTech FT550 or a 600. You have your shift solenoid 
and your shift button. We don't need to worry about switch 12 volt here because we're running a black wire from our shift solenoid to the blue output, same as the other concept. But this time we're using a yellow output for our switch 12 volts. So it's not technically switched, it's gonna be an RPM activated output. So yellow needs to be RPM activated output and we are gonna wire that directly to the other black wire. Polarity does not matter. You can swap these, doesn't matter. You need to wire the shift button the same. So white input goes into the fuel tech. On the other side of the shift button, you go to ground. And these are the labels again. Blue output is the same, white input is the same. Yellow output is RPM activated output. So what is an RPM activated output? Exactly what it means, RPM activated. So it's gonna send 12 volt power whenever it sees RPM. And in outputs, we're in outputs, you're gonna take a yellow wire, any of the yellow wires, 450 does not have any, 550 has four, 600 has eight. Label it RPM activated output. You can use any of them. We're gonna go into map options, make sure RPM activated in output is active. We can click here or we can see that it's in other functions. So we can scroll up, RPM activated output. We need to set it on activated at 12 volts only with yellow outputs, and we need to put an RPM here. And this RPM can be anything below the shift RPM. So for example, if you shift at 10,000 RPMs, put this at 9,000 RPMs. That way it sends 12 volts when it reaches 9,000 RPMs, and it's on uh, all the way up to 10,000. In both of these examples, we can see that we have a shift button that is wired directly to an input. I have a lot of guys that ask me, well, why can't my shift button be directly wired to my shift solenoid? Because your shift solenoid is not going to tell the ECU when to kill. If you're on a motorcycle, you need to kill your transmission unless you have a full auto. So how is it going to know that? So we have to wire an input button so that the ECU knows to send a blue output to the shift solenoid and to kill your motorcycle. It needs to kill the ignition for a certain amount of time. It does not know to do that if you take your shift button and go directly to your shift solenoid. This is a big no-no, do not do it. You have to wire your shift button to a white input. When you select up shift button, it will automatically be a negative signal. If you need to switch this to a positive signal, you don't wanna go up here because it doesn't have a positive signal. What you need to do is come over to paddle shift, up shift button activation mode, activate by 12 volts, go back to inputs, up shift button is now a positive signal. So you want to go to paddle shift. I recommend ground, it's what I always use, and that's what it is uh, default. So if you wire it ground, you don't even have to look over here because it's already defaulted. One reason why I like to wire the yellow output to the fuel tech ECU and to the shift solenoid is because this way, if you don't have the bike running and you have the power on and you accidentally hit the shift button, it will activate the shift solenoid and slam your transmission. You can bend a shift fork or you could damage your transmission, you can uh, damage the teeth on it, 
So I recommend doing it with a yellow output. That way with RPM activated output, the motorcycle has to be running or the vehicle has to be running in order to shift the vehicle. Um, sometimes I'll set it as low as 100 RPM. So any time that the vehicle is running, I can reach up and hit the shift button. Um, you can set it at any RPM you want as long as it's below the shift. But if, if you don't care, you can activate it at 100 RPMs. That way, anytime that it's running or idling or anything, you can hit the shift button. Uh, a lot of guys use a low RPM so that they can hit the shift button and use it uh, just riding the bike through the pits. And you can put it at a thousand as long as it's over idling or low speed for that. Um, but that's why I like the yellow output so that you don't accidentally hit your shift button. Okay, I believe that sums everything up on the shift solenoid. How to wire it with your upshift button and your fuel tech ECU. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Please like and subscribe. Hit the bell notification. I'm also going to put pictures of these at the end of the video here. And that way you can screenshot them and look at them. Or you can always come back and reference the video. Um, I hope this helps. Thanks.